central Arizona. The western boundary of this lake was defined by a highland or plateau. Over time, the stream that drained this highland gradually cut a course to the east. The flow of the Little Colorado was diverted into this newly created path, becoming the Colorado River. The river continued to flow through this course as the highland continued to rise on the Millions of years, volcanoes, faulting, sand dunes and deserts, great seas and rivers, glaciers and ice ages, all to form the area we see today. I'll be back in a few minutes with more modern history of humans and Lake Mead. The preceded and the ice age ended. As the conditions became desert life, the lifestyle of the people who lived here adjusted also. This adjustment, which took many generations, saw the large game animals replaced as food sources by small desert animals and even lizards. Ancient people supplemented their diet of meat by harvesting the local plants like cactus, yucca, and mesquite. This is many found the lore of where they were met by Mormon settlers. Powell wrote about his experiences. His adventures provide readers with a first-hand experience of what he endured. Water resources, which the USGS still conducts today. In the spring, it would often swell and overflow its banks, flooding hundreds of square miles in Arizona and California. This was beneficial as the silt deposited by the overflows created rich farmland and the overflows could be directed by canals into areas like California's Imperial Valley providing irrigation, but it could also be incredibly destructive. In 1905, it overflowed and flooded the Imperial Valley for two years. Project. 
67 miles up since that date. Lake Mead National Recreation Area is the oldest and largest in the National Park System. For a variety of fish life, largemouth bass and rainbow trout grow to large size here. Channel cats have search fans to the public. One excellent guide to the